matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? For this, our main event of the evening. Jones is four years the elder. He will have a six inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, three losses. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 252 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Tom Espinal. And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look-see new fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight Champion of the world, John Bones Jones! All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Went for the inside leg kick. He connects with a punch there, DC. You like this. 
this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this put a smile on my face. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that gym. Uh, nice connection there by John Jones. And he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it. Because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title wrapped around the woods. Oh, and he caught the kick. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Oh, he heard the battle. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Powerful leg kick lands. Boom! Big jab. Oh! Can't take many of those. You better check. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows, that is how you scramble, folks. Jones' kick is blocked. Nice. In fight. Oh! Is that a few strikes right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Nice punch on that over the top. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. There's for an elbow. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. What a oh, as effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, big left. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. Oh! Go finish his fight. He didn't like that left hand. Jones' shot there is blocked. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, nice right hand. Hook is there again. Oh! Oh, straight right. Trying to stay in this fight. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Oh. He wiped him out. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart 
One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tom So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Stanley Cormier. I, I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champion.